Hiya, how's things? How are you doing? I hope you are very well. We are in the middle of kitchen renovation, so I'm glad you cannot see the rest of the room because it's messy. I created a little uh, clean corner so we can enjoy this video together today. Uh, and these are one of the last videos I record in this flat because in about four weeks time I'm gonna be moving to the new place. Uh, so enjoy it while it lasts. Today I want to tell you about something magical. It charmed me from the minute I saw it. Something that does not exist in a western world in such a form and these are Korean glitters. Thinking in European terms I associate glitters with New Year, chunky, heavy, glittery eyeshadow that usually looks quite tacky or you know when I was younger we would go for this dancing competition we had those loose glitter like all over us and this is very much not what Korean glitters are all about they aren't meant to be very visible they are to twinkle gently in the right light when you smile uh, there is supposed to be this teary eye effect as if you have little tears sitting under your eye um, from laughing and they are very delicate and classy and tasteful enough so women in any age can wear them. Korean glitters are like Swarovski on your eyelids. I've never seen anything so sparkly. Over the last few months I've tested quite a few and today I'm eager to show you the favorite ones of all. Number four of my most favorite Korean glitters is this 3C Eye Switch glitter in the shade Dal Senyo. This is the most western-like glitter because it is kind of like a liquid eyeshadow with tiny sparkly particles. This is the only one I'm using instead of eyeshadow rather than a finishing touch on top of the already existing makeup because it has slight tint to it. It has like a brownish goldish undertone. What I love about it is that it's one of the most sparkly glitters out of all and mind you they are all incredibly sparkly. The reason why it's fourth on my list is because the brush that uh, works perfectly fine with the other glitters with this one it somehow takes a little bit too much product for my liking and I always have to use a cotton bud or another separate brush and also it takes a little while for it to dry on the eyelids. As a result it can crease a little bit. It's a little bit a pain in the bum to apply it but once you get over it it's a truly beautiful sparkly element on your makeup. Number three of my favorite glitters, and the only reason why it's three is because the first two are beyond the scale, is the Holika Holika Span Glitter in the shade that I just love this name, Unicorn Particles. It is literally what it says it is, which is like a most amazing unicorn bits on your eyelids. When I first got it I was a little bit disappointed because it seemed like it didn't sparkle as much as the other glitters but I applied it in the daytime. It really comes to light when the LED light is on or the candle light is on. It's like wow effect on your eyes. I actually adore this combination that it's perfect for a daytime that's why I wear it most on everyday basis yet as soon as you move to the artificial light it adds this wow effect to your makeup you can use it all over your eyelid and it's not too much while some of the other glitters are so sparkly that that would be way over the top this span glitter unlike Dalsenio has different sizes of particles in it and they glimmer in different shades Dalsenio is kind of constant one size one shade glimmer. Number two of the best glitters I've tried is this 3C Eye Switch in the shade Throbbing. By the way, 3C is my newest Korean makeup discovery and uh, they are famous for these glitters. All of them are very sparkly, so if you're hungry for glitters in your life then look no further. All the particles of this glitter are in the same size as well, but what makes it special is that they reflect light in the different shades as well and the predominant color tend to be like a bluish green which goes perfectly with my eyes. I really like that you can wear literally no makeup or very little makeup and just put a little bit of this and it adds this extra special dimension to your face. It is my special casual choice. I wear it for days out with friends and um, I get a lot of compliments after wearing it. However, I had to choose the winner and as much as all those three I showed you are amazing, this one is the most special of all. It is another eye switch glitter in the shade double note. What makes this one unique is that it has different sizes of particles, something like the unicorn, but they're 
in a better ratio to each other. The unicorn particles, some of them can be quite big, but this one is still very uh, tasteful and like sized well. Also, it glimmers in many different shades, but there is no one predominant, which makes it suitable for every makeup. This one gives you this perfect teary eye effect, and this one really comes to life in the candlelight. It's just beautiful. As you can see, I have it in the jar. I would so much prefer to have it in the tube, uh, like other 3C glitters, but it's so hard to find. This one is in a, such a high demand that if you get it at all, you're very lucky. This one can be used in a day, but in a moderation because it's incredibly sparkly. For the evening, this is my go-to choice and I would go for this above any other glitter. Just for fun, I put them all to the sparkle test. I applied them on the back of my hand and I used the torch from my phone and started moving closer and closer to my hand and was watching which glitter would start to shine first. So the winners of this challenge were these two, Double Note and Del Senio. Most worn one are the glitters from Clio palette because I use this palette a lot on top of my eyelid and double note underneath or unicorn all over my eyelids. Most special is definitely the double note. I feel like wearing a piece of fine jewelry on my eyelids when I wear it. Most compliments I get when I wear throbbing. However, I went once for a dinner with a friend. I had the Clio glitter on top and double note underneath. It was evening time, they lit a candle and my friend was just like captivating, staring in my eyes. She said it was twinkling so beautifully in the candlelight she couldn't focus on what I was saying. Final tips if you do get your hands on them, and I highly recommend you do because I bet there's nothing in your cupboard that's quite like it. Apply it as the last thing of your makeup when you already have your mascara on and you're ready to go. Apply just a tiny bit in the middle of the bottom eyelid um, to give you this teary, beautiful glimpse when you smile. If that's not enough, uh, try putting a little bit in the middle of the top eyelid, but I would avoid putting them in the inner corner of the eye because they are just simply not meant to go there. And of course, the big thing, how to remove them. If you've had anything to do with Western glitters, you know how hard it is to get them off. They're a little bit easier to remove because they stick well to its original base. My advice is soak the single-use cotton pad, and I say single-use because I've tried with my multiple-use ones and I just destroy them. <laughs> Soak it really, really well with micellar water, place it on the eyelid, wait a few seconds and um, move the makeup off. This way most of the glitter goes off, however, the next day I still find some in the middle of my lashes. That's where it's the hardest to remove. To be honest, it doesn't really bother me personally, but if it does, I take the brow brush and gently brush them off from the uh, middle of my um, lashes. That's the best tip I can give for this. I hope you are now as enchanted by Korean glitters as I am and that I sparked an interest into this kind of makeup in you. Thanks very much for watching this video. Thanks for spending this time with me. I wish you a good day, good week, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.